What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how the low pass module works. Right, so this is the image that we're going to work with. Before I show you guys how the low pass module works, I want to do a quick edit with the shadows and highlights module. So let's start, I'm going to increase the exposure by dragging this point to the right, like so. I'm going to drag this point to the left a little bit, like so. So that's the basic things I'm going to do. Then I'm going to open up the basic adjustments module and I've put all the modules that we're going to use in my favorites. If you don't see them over here, please go to more modules and then find them in the list down below. But basically the only thing we need in this tutorial is the exposure module, the shadows and highlights module, the low pass module and the basic adjustments module. So I want to adjust the black level by one step. So I'm scrolling the mouse wheel button one click away from me. I'm not going to change the exposure because I've already done that with the exposure module. I'm going to put the highlight compression first on 100 to show you guys what happens. Look at this point because this is a highlight. So now it's on 100% and if I put it on 0% you don't see any changes and that's because the highlights are very minimum. But I'm going to put it on 25% just in case. I won't be using the contrast because I will show you guys how to do that with the other modules. And I'm going to increase the brightness just a little bit to brighten up the image. There you go. I'm going to increase the saturation like so to make the image more pop. So now I'm going to close down the basic adjustments module. I'm going to open up the shadows and highlights module and I'm going to activate it and boom. Now the image has changed and we see that the shadows have been brought up. Uh, you can change the white point to the left to darken everything or to the right to brighten it up. I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit like so. I'm going to keep everything as is. I'm going to keep the highlights as is and I'm going to keep the shadows as is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot because I want to compare the changes that we're going to make with the low pass module with the shadows and highlights module. So I'm going to close this down. I've taken a snapshot. So I'm going back to the original, compress the history stack. There we go. Click the snapshot like so. And now this is the original side and this is the side that we've edited it with just a few quick steps. So let me move it to the right. It's very vibrant, very popping. So this is the image that we started with. There you go. So let's deselect the snapshot and we're back to where we started with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same few steps I did a minute ago. So I'm going to increase the exposure by dragging this to the right, like so. I'm going to drag this to the left a little bit. I'm going to open up the basic adjustments module. I'm going to increase the black level, same I did a minute ago. I'm going to keep the exposure as is. I'm going to increase the brightness just a little bit. I'm not going to change the saturation and I'll show you guys in a minute why that is. So I'm going to close this one down and now it's time to use the low pass module. The low pass module basically adds a Gaussian blur. You can use a bilateral filter as well, but in this case we're going to use a Gaussian blur. And now it's activated and if you change the radius, which is now set to 10, you will see that the further you drag this to the right, the more blurry your image becomes. Basically what you can do with this module, if you would like to do so, is add some bokeh afterwards. But if you want to do it, this is not a very great image to do it with, but if you want to do it, you need a mask. And let's say we're going to brush and we're going to just brush over this part because this is the part that I want to make sure that stays sharp. There you go, there you go. So now this is the mask, but as you can see, the rest of the image is now sharp, except this part, because we've applied the low pass module on this part. But what you can do as well, is you can invert the mask like so, and now everything else becomes blurry, except the part that you've masked. Now, I agree with you guys, it doesn't look very good. Uh, you can feather it a little bit, you can blur the mask a little bit, and it starts to look a little bit different but this only works for certain types of photos. So I'm going to reset everything by clicking this button, reset parameters, which means that the mask and everything else is gone. It's set to 10. So once again, if I drag this to the right, everything becomes a lot more blurry. And if I drag it to the left, 
details are starting to come back. In this case, what I want to do is I want to put it on, let's say 30. And I'm going to put the contrast on zero. I'm going to put the saturation on zero. So basically the only thing that has been added to this image is the radius. But now everything is gray, so the image is gone. How are we going to get this image back? Because this looks horrible. Obviously we can't use that. But what we can do is use the uniformly, so the blend mode, and then change the blend mode into overlay. And now watch what happens. Here's the image again. We've put the radius on 30. And now if I use the contrast slider and move it to the right, the shadows become more dark and the highlights stay intact. But if I drag this to the left, like so, the shadows are starting to become more bright. Detail is getting back into the shadows. I want to decrease the brightness a little bit of the overall image. I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit, make it stand out some more. So that looks amazing. And what you can do is you can change the radius again, just to see how that works. So I'm dragging it to the right, like so. The image is changing, and if I drag it to the left, so let's go below a 30, this is how it looks. Now let's compare how this looks to the one that we've done with the shadows and highlights module. So for that, I'm going to click the snapshot like so. And now on the left side is the image as we've edited it with the shadows and highlights module. And on the right is the image that we've edited with the Lopez module. If I drag this to the right, it's a little bit more dull. So now I'm dragging this to the right. So on the left side is the one that we've did with the shadows and highlights module. So let's go back and as you can see this needs a little bit more contrast so i'm going to keep this as is to see how that looks i'm going to increase the contrast by dragging it to the left like so and now let's compare these two with each other again so on the left is the one with the shadows and highlights and on the right is the one with the low pass module and that looks absolutely amazing. What you can do now is you can play around to make sure that it matches the style that you want it to match with. I'm going to decrease this a little bit. I'm going to increase the radius a little bit just to change the overall look of the image. Now let's compare it. There you go. Let's deselect the snapshot. So what you can do with the low pass module is you can increase the details in the shadows while keeping the highlights as is. So if you drag this to the right, the highlights become more bright and the shadows become more dark. And if I drag this to the left, that means that the shadows are becoming lighter and the highlights are becoming darker, as you can see over here. And that, my friends, is how you use the Lopez module. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Especially for this week, I've uploaded a preset, the astrophotography preset. It's in the description down below as well. It's been requested on Reddit. So I hope you guys like that as well. And I guess for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!